According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Hi Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the love and support you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Are you dating a highly sensitive person? Or do you identify as an HSP? Dating can be awkward, uncomfortable, and downright worrisome, no matter who you are. Being a highly sensitive person, it's tricky enough to navigate an overstimulating world, but adding another person to the mix? If this feels overwhelming, you're not alone. It's complicated, but it can certainly be done, and when it is, it can feel oh so rewarding. There's a lot you can try in order to make dating as comfortable and fun as possible. Here are 10 secrets about dating a highly sensitive person. 1. An HSP will notice and will care if you're not being genuine. Did you know they can get a read on your vibe through tiny details such as your body language and facial expression? Oftentimes, they just know. Something between you will probably feel off if you try to get away with a lie even if neither of you can tell what it is at first. Sticking to authenticity stops things from getting lost in translation. 2. Communication is key. Does your partner have any specific triggers? Or do you feel uncomfortable in certain situations? Letting your partner know about such things helps increase understanding. The more you know and communicate, the more you can be there for one another in any situation. If anything, you'll just be more prepared for the next date. It can also help you avoid unnecessary stress. For example, a moderately crowded cafe is probably relaxing for a lot of people, but some HSPs may be overstimulated by a few voices and machines in an echoing room. 3. Know that an HSP's environment affects them greatly. Lisa Pezzini's a highly sensitive person and blogger at Highly Sensitive Refuge recounts how she felt she would die from the shrillness and force of the sound of the house alarm system which had malfunctioned and rang for two hours straight. Finally, she ripped the wires apart in desperation. Pezzini's case is not unusual for highly sensitive individuals. HSPs will hone in on slight sounds, smells, movements, and even tastes that others don't notice. This can be extremely overwhelming at times, especially when trying to focus on another person. But if things get overstimulating, a little support and a lot of patience can help do the trick. 4. HSPs feel emotions intensely too. HSPs are highly perceptive of emotion. An HSP might be moved to tears by a sad song or a few sweet words. So keep this in mind when picking your next date night movie. Don't feel like emotional expression needs to be avoided though. Just as with any sensitivity, it can be just as beautiful as it is frustrating. Handling these feelings in productive ways can help bring the two of you closer together. 5. It may help to plan ahead. If you took your date ice skating as a surprise, you'd probably let them know to bring a jacket, right? You can think about sensitivities the same way. A little communication and preparation will help the date run a lot smoother. Going somewhere loud? Bring headphones. A long car ride? Maybe a fidget object and downloading a podcast will help. Resources such as social media and good old Google can help you think up the evening of your dreams. 6. Give HSPs some time to adjust. For highly sensitive people, nearly any and every change can feel disruptive and scary. Even the change of seasons affects some HSPs, and no, not in the same way as seasonal affective disorder. So you can imagine how jarring sudden changes can be. If your partner doesn't seem relaxed in a new place, or even in a new relationship, they're still feeling things out and would much appreciate a little space and time. 7. You will probably learn something if you listen closely. Is your partner prone to noticing interesting particulars throughout the day? Do they remember things that others don't because they're so detail-oriented? Highly sensitive people take in a lot of information on a nearly constant basis. It can definitely be overwhelming, but it can also be pretty useful. Talking to an HSP will likely keep you engaged. Sensitive individuals tend to move beyond small talk rather quickly. 8. Don't ignore their discomfort or make a scene out of it. Imagine yourself in their shoes. 
How would you want someone you're with to react if you told them something was bothering you? It can be hard to know what to say or do when something comes up, especially when it's sudden. But it's more about how you react than the actual words you utter that makes all the difference. Ignoring their feelings certainly won't help the situation, even if you're just trying to distract them. Odds are, not much will be able to take their attention away from their surroundings. So a simple suggestion like, should we step outside for a minute? Or a straightforward question like, what would you like to do? Should suffice. 9. Choose surprises carefully. On a scale from 1 to 10, how difficult is it to plan a surprise date night for an HSP? Chances are, you won't be able to keep it a surprise for long. Because highly sensitive people are so perceptive, they may intuitively feel that you are hiding something, which might prompt them to ask. On the other hand, surprising an HSP with a hug from behind can be so startling that it takes more than a few seconds for them to recover from. Even the dreaded, I have to tell you something, sets an HSP's heart pounding. It helps if the suspense element is kept to a minimum when dating an HSP. 10. Stop using phrases like too sensitive and too much. You want to date someone who makes you feel good, right? For an HSP, this might translate into looking for someone who accepts their sensitivities without judgment. It's already emotionally draining to deal with constant overstimulation, so it can be truly disheartening to feel like someone is simply tolerating, rather than choosing to be with you. Simple phrases like overly sensitive and too much carry more weight than you think, so it's important to choose words carefully and listen to each other with an open mind. We hope we were able to give you a little insight into some of the ways that set HSPs apart from the crowd. Are you dating an HSP or do you identify as an HSP yourself? Did you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching.